today we are talking closets. So this is actually going to be four parts. Uh, we are going to talk clothes, shoes, accessories, and function. And today we're going to talk clothes because that's what most people use their closet for, is their clothes. So let's talk a little bit about organizing clothes. For me, when I organize my tops, I like to both categorize them and color code them. So when I'm coming in, I start with my sleeveless shirts, I move on to my short sleeve, long sleeve, and then I go with my bulkier items like sweatshirts and sweaters. And then lastly, back in that corner are things that I don't use very often. Um, for me, it's like my uh, work suits, my I should say my business formal work suits that I don't have a need for much anymore. From a pant perspective, I go from casual over to formal. Now, for your closet, do what makes sense for you. So that's the entire purpose of organizing is to make your life more um, efficient and just a little bit easier. So like when I worked at the hospital and wore business formal every day, I actually, on the left side of my closet, I had my formal pants, I had my blazers, because those were the things that I wore five out of seven days a week. And this was the first part of the closet that I walked into and it just saved me an extra couple steps each day. So it doesn't sound like much, but it just makes you a little more efficient and start the day off. So that's um, what I do in terms of organizing. In terms of products or tips I have for you, first, get matching hangers. So visually, having consistent hangers, both on top and bottom, makes a huge difference. So it just helps you keep the closet neat and organized. For me, I use two different types of hangers. My first hanger that I use is this slim coat hanger. So it's got two different features that I like. First, that it's slim, because that means I can fit more items in my closet. And second, this little slot here means when I go to put my shirts on my hangers, I don't have to stretch the neck or come up from underneath. So again, just saves me an extra minute or two. From a pant perspective, I actually would use little kid coat hangers. So I, um, though I would love to find a coat hanger that matches for my bottom, from a function perspective, this is what I prefer. And here's why. I feel like my pants fit better on this little coat hanger. Visually, the coat hangers stay nice and straight. I don't have to worry about my pants tipping one way or another on a coat hanger that is too large. So there's some tips for my coat hangers. Now, I will say, I personally feel like I have a, a fairly large closet. Now, when Josh and I get first got married, um, up until now, we moved around about six times. So my closet sizes have varied. This has by far been my biggest closet. Sometimes he and I shared. Sometimes we both had very tiny closets. So if you have a smaller closet, here's a couple recommendations for you. When you're evaluating the clothes in your closet, just determine, do they all fit? And if the answer is no, you have two options. Your first option is you can purge. So this is a great idea if um, you have not went through and purged your closet in a while. Go through, figure out, first, do you need it or do you love it? And I would say you can ask yourself um, either of those questions. So in some cases, I've got stuff I love. In other cases, I've got stuff I need. Like I've got white tank tops that I don't love, but I need them because I wear them underneath shirts depending on what my neckline is. Um, that's the first question to ask. Do you need it or do you love it? The second question to ask yourself is, does it fit? And then ask yourself, is it in good condition? And if you answer no to any of three of those questions, think about um, that being a piece of clothing that it's time to part with. If it's in good shape and you just don't need it, consider selling it. If it's um, not in great shape, consider just um, purging it or uh, all those other items you can donate too. So that's one way to make space in your closet. A second way to make space is to develop a system for your clothes. So um, as we moved around to those different houses, there were uh, most of the houses, my kids would share rooms, which meant that they also shared closets and dressers. And we did not have enough space for their entire year's worth of clothes to fit in those closets and dressers. So we actually had a system where we would swap out summer clothes and winter clothes. Um, now a system like that is great, uh, but it does take some commitment. So it would take me a couple hours about every six months where I had to go through and swap out either warm or cold clothes, depending on what type of year it was. So there you have 
some tips and tricks for keeping your closet tidy and neat. So, so if you're ready to get started, my first recommendation to you is go into your closet and line your items up um, by category. So from sleeveless all the way over to long sleeve and bulky items. That way, when you're ready for the second step of purging, you can take all your sleeveless items out and evaluate what you have, what you need, what you want to purge, and kind of go section by section to do your purging process. Also, when it comes to purging, don't forget to do your dresser at the same time. So it's really important that you look at all your clothes together to figure out what you have before you start refilling them into your closet or dressers. All right, so that's tips and tricks for clothing. Come back to the next video and we'll talk shoes.